This is the Nkuhuma pride. Look at those huge teeth. This is a beautiful pride of lions. And it's the pride of lions that we see most often here. And they're so tired. Lions are always tired, you know. They sleep for 20 hours of the day. Oh, it's very special to find them. Now, I'd love to say that I found them, but you know, Tristan found them this morning and then Fergus, who's on camera today, very sharp eyes, he spotted them this afternoon. Elijah, you want to know if the baby lions would attack well, if you irritated them enough, they might, but not now. Most animals here, even big lions, will try and run away from you before they will attack. Everything out here just about is afraid of us as human beings. Why, you might ask, we're not very scary. Well, to animals, we are very scary. And that's mainly because, you know, for a long, long time, since human beings have been around, we've been hunting animals. And so they don't know that we're slower than them and weaker than them. They just think that we are predators, and so they're scared of us. But in the car, which we are now, obviously, we're sitting in our vehicle, they're not so scared of us because we don't stand up in the car. And because we don't stand up in the car, they're just not quite so scared of us as they would be if we were on foot. So those baby lions, Elijah, are not going to get up and attack us. You don't need to worry about that, which is lucky. Neela, you're looking at the answer to your question there. You say, do female lions have manes? No, they don't. Look, there's a female lion, and she doesn't have a mane, does she? Only the males have got manes, and for those of you who don't uh, or struggle to remember things like that. Remember, of course, normally only men have got beards. And so it's the same with lions. A lion has a beard in much, the, at least a mane, in much the same way that a human being has got a beard. Look at the little ones playing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the oldest ones in that little group should be just over a year old and the younger ones just under a year old. The youngest, there's one very young one, well, very-ish young one. It will be a year old in July. And the very older cubs, those are young cubs there, are, I think they were born in May. They must be a year old now. Isn't that nice? They're more with their legs up. And you know, so often when we see lions at this time of the day, it's really quite boring because they're normally asleep, but these guys are playing and they're just waking up slightly. Oh, and you want to know how sharp their teeth are? Well, they're not as sharp as, say, a house cat's teeth. But they're much heavier, and they're much stronger, and their jaws are much more powerful. And that means that they actually could do much more damage than a house cat's, cat's teeth. And so, while they're not quite as sharp, needle sharp, as a house cat's teeth, they are very, very powerful. And, well, how sharp would I say? I'm trying to think of something like a, like a pencil, basically. You know how when you've got a pencil and you've been writing, say, half a page and then it's a little bit blunt and you think about sharpening it? Well, that's probably about how sharp a lion's teeth are. But as they get older, the teeth get blunter and blunter. Jeremy, you say, why is it sleepy? Well... The best way for me to describe that to you, Jeremy, is to say, well, you know how after you've had a lot to eat, a huge meal, you've had an enormous meal, you sometimes get a little bit sleepy and you want to go and have a bit of a lie down. It's a little bit like that for the lions, except that they don't eat what we eat. So they don't eat what we call a good, balanced, varied diet. They only eat meat. And because they only eat meat, what it means is that they don't have a lot of energy in the diet. It's difficult for them to make enough energy from their food to be active all the time. And so while I know this is quite difficult for you guys to understand, because I know you're still little, but you will understand it one day. Because they, don't, they only eat meat and they don't eat things like uh, fatty foods 
or even things like sweets and chocolates, which might give you a little bit of energy briefly, although they're not very good for you. Um, it means that they're tired quite a lot of the time. And if you look at any carnivore around the world, a pure carnivore, in other words, a pure meat eater, you're going to find that they are tired quite a lot as well. And I'm sure those of you who have got dogs and cats at home will know how much they sleep. Well, that's because it's quite difficult for them to make enough energy to be active. And when I say make energy, your body is always working to make energy to help you do the things that you have to do. Now, Manana, you're wondering how big these lions are, and that's a very good question, of course, because you can't really tell from your screen there how big they are. That big female there who's now fast asleep. <laughs> Look at that. The big female is about, who was fast asleep there, is probably weighs in the region of 120 kilograms, which in pounds is about... Ooh, let's say multiply by 2.2, we've got about 260 pounds plus minus. That's what she weighs, so she's huge. I'm just going to quickly talk on the game drive radio to help someone else come and see the lions. Go ahead. I'm just quickly listening and then I'll talk to you again. Okay, copy that. Now, I think we'll probably spend a little bit longer with him. Oh, I'll tell you what I do want to show you. Um, for, can we go to the one on the left, the lioness on the left? It looks like she's got a blind eye. Ooh, look at that. See that, everybody? It looks like her eye there is not so good. It's got a film over it. Of course, now she's closing it. And Liam... You're wondering how old these lions can get before, well, before they die, I guess. Liam, lions don't get very old, you know. They probably would be lucky to get to 10 years. 12 years is a pretty good age. Anything above 12 is really very good indeed um, for a male. For the females, maybe two years more than that. So maybe the females normally live to about 12, and then sometimes to 14 and sometimes a little bit older than that. But the oldest lion in this area was 18 when he died, apparently, and that's very, very old for a lion. And I'm not sure about the oldest female. So they can live for some time, but, yeah, not very long. And they will live longer in a zoo situation, and although I know it can seem often quite cruel to have animals in zoos, the reason they live longer is because, of course, there's nothing to attack them, whereas out here there is always something. There's always a slightly stronger, younger male lion coming to cause trouble and try and take your territory, or if you're a female, well, you've still got to hunt all the time, and eventually you just get too old to hunt properly. Fast asleep now. <laughs> 